Hi, and welcome to a tutorial on how to import CMM data into a SOLIDWORKS inspection project. So here you can see we have our project information ready to go. So I'll hit OK. And we just need to add balloons to this print. I wanted to include this in this video because there's this new tool called Auto Extract in 2023. It lets you choose uh, dimensions and GDNTs to focus on, and it'll extract these characteristics from the drawing for you automatically. So we'll hit OK. This is happening in real time. It's reading the PDF, and it's going to automatically assign balloons and pick up the dimensions and tolerances for us. Uh, we'll delete out a couple of the extra unnecessary ones that it picks up, and just like that, we're ready to go. So to get started with importing your CMM data, you first need to enable that add-in. So we're going to go to Home, Options, and under general, you'll see the add-ins for measurements input and CMM data import. So that has to be checked for this to work. We'll hit OK. And when you do, um, we'll go down to our table manager and pin that open. You'll see that we get this measurements input field that appears to the right of our table manager. And then we also get the CMM data input table that appears to the right of the drawing. So it's important to note that you're not going to be recording CMM data in real time. You're going to be running your CMM program and then taking the output file and bringing it here for documentation purposes. So to begin importing the data, we first need to navigate to our file. So we'll click Add File, go to wherever that's saved, and we'll open it up. And now you can see the data gets parsed correctly. Now, if you run into this problem, failed to load one of the CMM results files, that's likely going to be due to the template that you're using to parse the data. So to fix that, what you'll do is go to Settings, and you'll want to change Template Control, and find the file format that matches your CMM. So in this case, I'm going to scroll down and find PCDMIS. Hit OK. And now if I hover over the Settings button, you'll see Current Template is set to PCDMIS.xml. Once you have your data loaded, then the cumbersome step begins where you have to assign each of the results to the specific characteristic in the table. So I'll show you what I mean. Here I see that the nominal dimension is 3.206, and I have 3.206 in my drawing, so I'm going to select that characteristic, and then I'm going to right-click and say Assign Results to Selected Characteristics. All right, we see it comes in with a pass. I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the Y-coordinate. I'll select that characteristic, right click, and say assign results to selected characteristics. We see that comes in as well. One quick note, for GD&T control frames, such as this one, where multiple measurements are involved, you want to make sure that you grab the correct line from your CMM results file. So I'll, again, I'll select the characteristic, right click just the one line, and say assign that result to the selected characteristic. Now we can see that the color coding is coming in with a marginal pass. That criteria is defined in your options under measurements input. You can see that you have the multiple colors that you're able to display, and you're also able to define your marginal pass zone based off of your process stability. So I'll click OK to lock that in. And we'll leave the rest alone for now. Now, you only have to go through this cumbersome step once per inspection project. So if you're going to be running this job again, you won't have to do it. You'll just have to import the file and those dimensions will automatically find their matching characteristics. And on top of that, for the first time that you're setting it up, there's a couple of automation tools that could help you. If we go to auto assign, you'll see that you have a nominal and it's going to search the nominal column here and do its best to assign it to the nominal column in your table manager. And that'll usually do okay, but it won't get you 100% of the way there. So there'll still be some manual setup. And other than that, there's really just basing it off of balloon number. So if you balloon in the order in which you're going to be inspecting, then you can auto assign based off item number. Uh, to help with that, because auto balloon is coming in rather randomly, you can drag these characteristics in the table up and down and rearrange the balloon numbers and they'll update themselves automatically. So after the data has been assigned, you can go ahead and export your Excel report. Make sure you're using an M expert template or basically a template that's been pre-configured with measurement tokens. And we'll hit export and save it in some folder. And you'll see that the measurement values are brought in where the measurement tokens appear in your template. 
And if your Excel template is configured with conditional formatting, you'll also see the pass fail and marginal pass criteria color coded as well. This has been a tutorial on importing CMM data into SOLIDWORKS inspection. For more information like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at hawkridgesys.com.